some considerable percentage of human beings are asleep always and many are awake and so if the world soul is made of the collective consciousness of human beings then it is never entirely awake it is never entirely asleep it exists in uh, I guess you can hear me it, it, it exists in some kind of indeterminate zone and this to me is the clue to understanding something that is personally fascinating to me and it revolves around why people believe such weird things and and why either as a consequence of the approach of the millennium or the breakdown of traditional values or the density of electromagnetic radiation or for some reason uh, a balkanization of epistemology is taking place and what I mean by that is there is no longer a commonality of understanding I mean for some people quantum physics provides the answers their next-door neighbor may look to the channeling of archangels with equal fervor uh, I mean if this is not a balkanization of epistemology uh, I don't know what it is uh, it is accompanied by a related phenomenon which is technology or the historical momentum of things is creating such a bewildering social milieu that the monkey mind cannot find a simple story a simple creation myth or or redemption myth to lay over the crazy contradictory patchwork of profane techno consumerist post McLuhanist electronic pre-apocalyptic existence and and so into that dimension of anxiety created by this inability to parse reality rushes a bewildering variety of squirrely notions um, epistemological cartoons if you will uh, that and conspiracy theory in my humble opinion I'm somewhat immune to paranoia so those of you who aren't you know gaze in wonder uh, <clears throat> conspiracy theory is a kind of epistemological cartoon about reality I mean isn't it so simple to believe that things are run by the grays and that all we have to do is trade sufficient fetal tissue to them and we can solve our technological problems or isn't it comforting to believe that uh, the Jews are behind everything or the Communist Party or the Catholic Church or the Masons well these are epistemological cartoons it's uh, you know kindergarten stuff in the art of uh, amateur historiography uh, I, I believe that the truth of the matter is far more terrifying that the real the real truth that dare not speak itself is that no one is in control <laughs> absolutely no one you know you don't understand Monica you don't understand Netanyahu it's because no Buddy is in control this stuff is ruled by the equations of dynamics and chaos now there may be entities seeking control the World Bank the Communist Party the rich the somebody others but to seek control is to uh, take enormous aggravation upon yourself uh, because th this this process that is underway will take the control freak by the short and curly and throw them against the wall <laughs> it's like trying to control a dream you see the the global destiny of the species is somehow unfolding with the logic of a dream